With the recent release coming soon, the new Napoleon movie directed by Ridley Scott, now has never been a better time to buy Napoleon Total War, get it off Steam, download this mod that is Napoleonic Total War 3. It is a fantastic overhaul with completely new and accurate units, which is a mod that has been completely supported for years with consistent support and dedication. If you haven't tried this mod, then you've been living under a rock for many years. Look, there are many mods out there for Napoleon, World War 1, 16th century that I've got to try. But I'm recommending NTW3 because it's a time machine. It transports you to the Napoleonic period. You will feel as if you're a grand soldier or a general in Napoleon's army. Or you might feel that you might want to fight as a coalition, right? So there's a huge amount of universities, a huge amount of work that has gone into this fantastic mod. And there's multiple cores, there's multiple armies to choose from. You have an insane amount of units. Look, if you play this in a 4v4 environment, if you have a single player campaign, if you have a fantastic game, then all of this is the ultimate Napoleonic atmosphere for you. And if you'll be going on the 21st of November, going to watch Napoleon, you'll be going straight to Steam once you watch it to play Napoleon Total War, then this mod, Napoleonic Total War 3, is the one I recommend. You will seriously have a fantastic time with it. Napoleon Total War 3 combines historical realism with tactical combat. No longer do your units run around the mock. No longer do they fire like they have an instant powerful fire or anything like that, like in vanilla. Units take time to reload. They take longer to march onto the battlefield and their volleys aren't accurately fired until they come much closer. NTW3 is a multiplayer mod, first and foremost, and has gone to such an extent that it has almost researched every single unit in the Napoleonic Wars and placed it into this mod. I remember playing this mod back in 2011, and it made me appreciate the time period even more. Why do I say that? There's over 10,000 unique units, 35 playable factions, and over 2,000 historical commanders, you know, historically accurate 150 battle maps, and tons of changes to the famous battle maps of Austerlitz, Toulon, and Waterloo. And all this in a similar mod for Napoleon Total War. I mean, there's some really great Napoleon mods for Bannerlaw, for Mountain Blade, you know, there's great games like Holfast, but nothing comes close to commanding huge Napoleonic armies in these big battle maps, and you will see an entire Napoleonic style battle. It will be like over 20 to 30,000 men present, or even more than that. That's how good this mod is. It's a dedicated team of Napoleonic enthusiasts. That is the Lord's Modern team that really made a new game out of Napoleon Total War. Bear in mind, this is a 10 year old community with an active multiplayer community. As fans of historical RTS games, I appeal to all of you again. If you're gonna watch Napoleon, all you simply do is you go to Steam, buy Napoleon Total War, then go to ModDB and download this mod. You will have some of the most largest multiplayer battles known to mankind. I kid you not, there are humongous massive multiplayer battles in 4v4 where players can bring above 4000 units and more. And this is not downplaying some really fantastic Napoleonic Total War style multiplayer mods. This is not downplaying it. This is me saying that Napoleonic Total War is the ultimate Napoleon mod out there. There's Field and Glory, and there's so many others out there. All Total War mods enhance Total War games, and all of them bring a sense of replayability. This multi active multiplayer community allows this game not only to be replayed hundreds of times, you can fight as many Napoleonic battles as you want with a dedicated team of players and you could create or recreate some of history's most famous battles in Napoleon's time. That's what this mod allows you to do. You have 4v4, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and you have a huge amount of battle maps. Now, isn't that value for money, in a way? Except you're getting it for free. For free. And let's go to the tactics. 
Because the battles within this mod are slow paced. Infantry can be devastated in combat with a melee charge or they can be ineffective when they're sort of far away within firing range. Cavalry can play a, a supporting role which is as normal to find gaps and engage other enemy cavalry. Cannons can be devastating but are really slow so you have to pace them in a nice way. You have to place them on a battlefield in an appropriate situation. This is the art of slow paced tactical warfare where every part of the battlefield feels like a chess piece. These multiplayer battles are often accompanied by a fog of war system where you usually send cavalry to scout ahead and engage first before you get into the thick of the action. The scale and scope of Napoleonic Total War 3 extend even broader with the base game as I think it has rosters that are historically accurate right down to the sharpest detail of the soldier's uniform, their musket, including their historical combat performance and their description. If anything, this mod will make you a fan of the Napoleonic time period. Even if you don't have interest, you will gain an appreciation of just how well fought these battles were but how brutal these battles could be at the same time. You know, if it's one thing, if you're going to send cavalry, cavalry are quite slow on the battlefield. Therefore, if you charge them, you have to charge them at close quarters. You cannot charge them at a far pace. And this is just the basics. You will learn more of the basics the more you play and you join the Discord because on the Discord there's a huge amount of activity, there's historical battles, there's historical discussions, dedicated conversations between Napoleonic enthusiasts, there's a screenshot thread, there's so much more in the Discord that everything you would want is right there. And if you love Napoleon, you watch the movie, join this Discord and download this mod here right now. And if you need support, the Discord has you covered. And I would recommend joining some friendly beginner clans and then playing Napoleon in Total War 3. But why do I say this mod? Because I've played this mod since 2011. I've loved this mod. And for me, while this, there is single player content and there are some really good campaigns, I don't feel that the single player element carries too much. I feel that the main crux of the mod is the multiplayer. And you can have some really fun nights. I've had crazy battles where you can have these Ottomans charging at you out of nowhere. You can have these massive multiplayer battles. And that's what it is. So my main aim of this video is this. You watch Napoleon and you're thinking, Alright, I'm gonna play Napoleon Total War, now I need a good mod. This mod makes everything feel as if it's like a time machine. You will love Napoleonic Total War 3. And Napoleonic Total War 3 is one of the most fantastic overall mods out there. I would say that it's one of those mods that just... It's like Divide 8 in Power for Rome 2. Except more multiplayer focus. So I definitely would say go ahead, download this mod and you will have a fantastic time. Seriously. Napoleon Total War 3 is the ultimate Napoleon mod out there. But that doesn't discount the amazing mods for Napoleon Total War that already exist. If you want some multiplayer experience and your first time going for Napoleon Total War 3, then definitely try this out. So don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Stay tuned for more Total War content. Where I'll be covering Zardom's Total War for Medieval 2 in a bit.